Sean Phillips. He said, well, I can't be charged because they won't find the baby. Nobody found, but found guilty of killing his infant daughter. You know what you did, and now we know too. Our affiliate WXMI is reporting on the sentence many weren't expecting. I ordered that you serve a term. And still, the most important question remains unanswered. Where is baby Kate? Young couple Sean Phillips and Ariel Cortland had one daughter, Haley, when Ariel got pregnant with their second daughter, Catherine. Reportedly, Phillips didn't want another child and kept it a secret from his parents. According to Ariel, Phillips first pushed to terminate the pregnancy, then adoption. Ariel didn't want to do either. It was the day Phillips was supposed to get a paternity test. He had been denying he was Kate's father. While out, the couple had been arguing. Back at home around 1 p.m., Ariel ran inside to get four-month-old Kate's stroller while Phillips and Kate waited in the car. When she came back out, Phillips and Kate were gone. The father of my child took our daughter, and I don't know where he's at. Later that afternoon, Ludington police tracked Sean Phillips down at his parents' house. Kate was nowhere to be found. But during a routine pat-down, cops found her baby clothes wadded up in Phillips' pocket. Sean Phillips was arrested on the spot. I'm sick of wondering where my daughter's at. An intense search was on for baby Kate. I'm sick of wondering if she's okay, if she's sitting in her car seat out in the middle of the woods, just crying. While the community was out looking for baby Kate, cops were interrogating her father and he was turning the tables, pointing the finger at her mother. Do you know where Catherine is at? Usually, she's been with Ariel's, but not to play. Or strange games like this. I'm not asking you that, okay, Sean? I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you a specific question. Do you know where Catherine is right now? No, I do not. Cops weren't buying it. Sean Phillips was eventually charged with unlawful imprisonment in the abduction of his daughter, baby Kate. Phillips' trial lasted two weeks. On the stand, Ariel testified to Phillips not wanting a second child. You're gonna get an application for an abortion online? Ask your client, it was his idea. And her desperate pleas for answers. Why didn't you take me? You were mad at me, not her. Also introduced at trial was an unmailed letter found in Phillips' shirt pocket a few weeks after his arrest. In it, he allegedly wrote, I took Kate and gave her to a guy. The guy was to leave her on a doorstep of a couple wanting to adopt, but the guy, the couple, and Kate were never found. After five and a half hours of deliberations, We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. Sean Phillips was sentenced to 10 to 15 years explanation for her being missing uh, really doesn't wash and we need to know what happened to her four month old baby kate is missing and presumed dead her father sean phillips who had driven off with her and was found with her baby clothes in his pocket has already been found guilty of unlawful imprisonment and sentenced to 10 to 15 years this is a tragic case it just makes you sick things are about to get a lot worse for phillips one year later he is charged with murder we have evidence that we are convinced will prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Sean Phillips murdered his own daughter. At a probable cause hearing, baby Kate's heartbroken mother, Ariel Cortland, recounts how she learned Kate was missing. I asked where Kate was at and if I could come and get her. And he said no, because Kate wasn't there. And they didn't know where she was at. The courtroom had heard from Ariel. Now they'd hear from Phillips in a bombshell piece of new evidence. A second letter. In it, a confession? In that letter, did he give you a version of events that had happened to Catherine on that day? Yes. Phillips wrote he accidentally killed Kate while yanking her car seat out of the back of the car, claiming he thought Ariel had already taken the girl out of her car seat and into the house. When Ariel's cell phone, which was stuck behind the car seat, wouldn't stop ringing, he wrote, I grabbed it at the top and ripped it out as hard as I could. She was thrown from it. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Held her for a long time. Seemed forever. Then Phillips wrote, he left baby Kate in a peaceful place.
A fellow inmate of Phillips also testified to a conversation they had behind bars. He said he picked the baby up and got rid of the baby. Did you ask him what he meant when he said he got rid of the baby? Yeah. He said, well, I can't be charged because they won't find the baby. There's no blood, no physical evidence, no body. There's been no direct evidence that there was a death. The letters Phillips allegedly wrote to Ariel were key to the prosecution's case, including the one in which he said Kate was in a peaceful place. Phillips' mother, Kimberly, was questioned about that peaceful place. Did you follow up with your son as to where the peaceful place was that he had left Catherine? On a personal visit with him, yes. Did he tell me anything? No. Sean Phillips never took the stand in his own defense. Then a twist which surprised many. Judge Wadle threw out the possibility of a first-degree murder conviction. The judge says there's simply not enough evidence for a jury to decide if Sean Phillips committed premeditated murder. After more than three weeks of testimony and three days of deliberations... Would you read your verdict, please? The long-awaited verdict is in. Guilty of the murder in the second degree. Sean Phillips, guilty of killing his own daughter, baby Kate. He had no reaction as he left the courtroom. Mr. Phillips, do you have anything to say about the verdict? Others didn't stay silent. Now's the time for Mr. Phillips to explain exactly where uh, Catherine is. There's absolutely no reason in the world to keep that secret. Can you tell us where the baby is? Just weeks ago, Phillips was back in court for his sentencing. The secret still locked away. The suggested guidelines were 15 to 25 years. The prosecution would make a case for exceeding that. He didn't want the responsibility of another child, and he made a decision to eliminate the life of a human being. I would ask the court for 40 to 75 years. The defense argued 15 to 25 years. You have a young individual that, uh, when he does get out of uh, prison, that uh, he can be a productive member of society, uh, and that he can be rehabilitated. And I think that a sentence within those guidelines is appropriate. But it would be the judge who surprised people the most. I have watched you here, and the one thing I do find, and I do believe, about you, Mr. Uh, Phillips, is that you're not an evil person. Then the long anticipated sentence. I order that you serve a term of 19 years to 45 years. So Sean Phillips' fate is decided. With credit for time served, he'll be eligible for parole in 16 years. But many still hope that Phillips will one day lead them to baby Kate, lead them to that peaceful place. Will you ever reveal where baby Kate is?